OK, so um, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, so ladies and gentlemen, if we were going to graph this, the best thing I can tell you guys um, when graphing uh, x is less than or equal to 3 is just to think about how would you graph the line x is equal to 3. And if you guys remember in our focus lesson two class periods ago, we talked about how to graph x is equal to 3. Yeah, it creates just a vertical line. Use a table of values if you need to. Um, but basically, we know that x is equal to 3, and it's always equal to 3, right? So no matter what the values of y, x is always going to equal 3, right? Now, since we have a less than or equal to, we know that we're going to have a solid line. Our points on this line are going to be a part of the solution. Now, all we simply need to do is twofold. You can think, you can kind of go back to what we talked about as the, um, um, we can kind of go back and talk about the, uh, the one variable number line. And just think about it. Now, again, we're talking about linear inequalities here. So that's why I knew to graph it on x and y axis. And you will be told to graph on x and y rather than just a, an x axis. Um, but what are all the values that are less than or equal to x? Are they to the left or to the right? Left. So you could do a test point if you wanted to. You could still do 0 is less than or equal to 3. That's true. But then you just shade to left. So just remember, guys, when you have x is less than, greater than, equal to, whatever, that creates a vertical line at the value of x. If you had y less than, greater than, equal to, whatever, that creates a horizontal at the y value. Yes? Are we going to have to do stuff like that on the test? Um, not this test. Maybe on the other test. No, actually, this is 